Hey, do you need to build round stuff that you can't with extrudes? Coming up. Hey, Tyler Beck with Tech and Espresso, helping you design and build faster with the Fusion platform. Today we're covering revolves, but before we do, take a second to hit those buttons down below, just play with them. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. It seems small, but it helps me grow this channel and helps me make more videos. So grab your coffee, let's do revolves. So it's pretty impressive how much you can build just with extrudes and fillets and other basic features. Revolves is right in there with it. If extrudes are your hammer and nails, then Revolve is your screwdriver. It's just as crucial. So how do you build stuff that's more complex than say rod stock or a cylinder? Pretty much anything that you might make on a lathe, that should be done with a Revolve feature. So how do you do it? You sketch half of it and it's done. Okay, oversimplification, but let's show it in Fusion. So what I'd like to do first is sketch a simple child's toy, a top. I'll sketch half of it. And I'll go to my revolve command. I select the inner profile and then the axis that I'll be spinning it about is right in the middle here. I select it and I'm done. Really easy to do. It's not hard. The one gotcha, the thing I've messed up a bunch of times is when I'm doing the sketch, for some reason, when I was first learning, and I've seen a lot of beginners do this, I select both, select the inner axis. It doesn't like it. These profiles are intersecting with each other and it's redundant, right? That's a lot of extra work to sketch out the entire shape versus sketching half. So I'm creating this layer cake shape here. And you can see I'm doing it with extrudes. It's not that bad, not that hard. Now, should I have done that with a revolve or an extrude? So when I look at this, it took me three sketches and it took three extrudes to make this shape. Now, the good things about this is I now have three separate sketches I could edit. I have three features I could edit. I guess that's looking at it positively. If you want to look at it differently, what we maybe should have done is do the same shape and we'll revolve it. Select the axis, done. Now, what's cool about that? One, it was faster, it's more elegant, simpler. That's all better, that's great. But one thing that's cool is I have one powerful sketch that I should have dimensions and relationships on, I haven't done that yet. But it's easy to edit because I could go in and make changes to these dimensions and make changes to the overall shape very quickly. Now, if I want to take, remove this cylinder at the end, on, off, on, off, uh, play with different shapes, then maybe that's where extrudes comes back in, is if you need to be able to break it apart into chunks, you could do that in two revolves too, but um, maybe the extrudes gives you, it's simpler in your mind, simpler for you to see it, that's fine. How do you create a sphere? Well, that one's easy. So I'll draw the sphere. I'll cut it in half since I need half. I could just have done this with arcs, of course. Make sure that's touching. Make sure that's vertical. And I could trim this, or I can actually just select it in the tool. That's fine. But for my sanity, I'll trim it just so I know exactly what I'm dealing with for the future. There's the shape, there's its axis. Example four, how do you create a donut or a wedding band or a hula hoop? Something with space in the middle, right? I want the whole 
donut cross section. And what I'll draw is a line out in space. And it's a construction line. It's for dimension purposes. It's for feature purposes. I'll revolve this profile around this construction line. And now I have my donut. So, so what was the trick? So you sketch your profile out in space away from a cross section. How could I do something more complex like a tire or a, a bicycle tire? Same thing. I'd sketch that profile shape with a series of arcs. So I'd sketch the shape, give it some dimensions and relationships. And then again, let's revolve that. Profile, the axis, and there's a very crude, crude bike tire. So this is some basics for Revolve. Revolve's awesome for round features. Let's do one final example. Say, say I was doing a rotor of some sort. I would sketch the object, give it its dimensions, but then I would sketch a line out in space away from the object. Again, I'd make it construction and I'd revolve it. So I put that space in there to create the, the hole. The rotor could be solid, we could hollow it out. What if we were going to drill holes in this particular rotor? Well, I couldn't have done that in the revolve. I'd have to come in and place the circles now and cut them out. So question of the day, what are you bumping into that you're doing using the Revolve tool and it's actually not worked for you or you got hung up and you're confused? Thanks for watching the video. Be sure to check out the rest of the Fusion 360 series for beginners coming from sketching all the way up through the basic features you need to be able to build basic and intermediate and on up to advanced models. Thanks for watching. Cheers.